The bootcamp is all about mindset change. It's about enabling a platform that provides all what you need in order to actually look at the future in a different way. I feel honored to be part of the artificial intelligence program as it is an asset to me to learn about more things within technology because I am a media center assistant and the more knowledge I can take in, the more knowledge I'm able to share. I am very excited. It's my first time learning about artificial intelligence and I would like to learn more about it. So, yeah. And I feel excited to be part of the program. We find that there's still such a huge divide between boys and girls in choosing careers in STEM. So we run workshops like the AI workshop that we do this weekend in Cape Town to encourage and especially to expose girls to technology. Well, I was here to encourage the girls, you know, also to just let them know that there's nothing to be, ex you know, to be scared of that AI is not a new thing. It powers everything we've been doing. To embrace your personality and to embrace this competitive nature to become the best version of yourself. In a short space of time, I mean in the three days, it's really great to see how girls' skills can be improved over that period of time, especially with a lot of the design thinking, um, the workshops, and getting them to actually build a solution to be able to solve the real life problems. Yeah. I mean, what is astonishing for me is that they're no different to any of the other kids around South Africa. They all have, they all have a hunger, they all have a passion, they all have ideas. They really are good thinkers and I think that already uh, they're coming up with amazing ideas and amazing concepts. I think it's incredible that one of the girls' answers was even like we're coming up with solutions to world problems and that they see uh, their ideas as being solutions to world problems. Incredible job done by AI in Africa and I'm really, really, really again, I'm excited to be a part of the program. If you look in you know, five or ten years when they exit school, they're going to have to have a vocation. Already they're going to start seeing careers out there that at the moment they really don't have any concept what their job will be, not necessarily. But what they can do is get a view of what's happening in the technology space. You know? Educating girls is quite critical to, to what I do and I think that I take that responsibility very seriously because I do think that as a South African community focusing on getting girls to be part of the pioneers of change and girls to be part of, of business leadership is important. And I just hope that what we are doing here over the next three days is to equip them with thinking out of the box and also how they can use artificial intelligence, social media to assist them with executing those plans. Girls historically have had fewer opportunities in the space. Uh, they've had few, fewer opportunities than boys. Girls are the future. If we look at the stats, we have less than 20% of engineering graduates that are women. So our message is very loud and clear. We need more women in technology, but more than that, we need women to not be intimidated by technology and to feel part of the solution yeah. of the future. Yes. We aim to go for the next boot camps uh, for the whole year around the country. Uh, our last bootcamp will be actually a competition across the different communities in order for them to, to be able to get a bursary for university. Yeah.